good morning again and welcome back to video number three this is where we cover the real working royals the people that bring attention to others so that they can help them fundraise that don't put money in their own pockets for it let's jump in and cover there's a lot to do let's go we're going to start off with king charles on may 22nd these pictures were taken of him at the 20th anniversary of the princess trust awards at buckingham palace and he posed with the actual winners now the next day after the princess trust awards king charles was taught how to fist bump with dj tyler west now he was there meeting the winners and ambassadors from the award ceremony and they were back at buckingham palace that is adorable look how happy charles is i love that now before anne left uh, her husband, Sir Tim Lawrence, who, by the way, is chair of the trustees of the Science Museum Group, went to the Science Museum Group's annual dinner. Let's move on really quickly to Queen Camilla. She was seen out and about on Thursday morning because she went to a memorial service for Captain Eon Farquhar, I think is how you pronounce it, like yeah, like Shrek, Farquaad. Anyway, he passed at the age of 78 and she went to the memorial service. Very nice. We're going to move on now to Princess Anne. These will not always be in order, but here we go. She was at a reception given by the king's ambassador to the Kingdom of Norway. Her name is Miss Jan Thompson at the residence in Oslo, Norway. I love her dress and I personally think she looks very, very nice. Again, these may not be in the correct order, okay? So now let's move on to May 22nd, where Anne, it's being reported later, wreath at the CWGC during her visit. And I like this outfit as well. This is a very pretty dress and I really like the jacket over it, which makes it more business attire. Now, on that same day, Anne met up with the Crown Prince of Norway, and they went to the Norwegian Resistance Museum. And while they were there, they commemorated the intelligence cooperation between Norway and the UK during World War II. And of course, Anne, in her usual fabulous style, unveiled a plaque. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe they are in Oslo. And the plaque, by the way, was given by the Anglo-British Resistance Commemoration Project. For those of you who don't know, uh, the Crown Prince of Norway is Anne's godson. That's right. She's his godmother. She's one of six godparents. And all of them are royals. All right, let's move on now to Prince William, who hosted an investiture ceremony at Windsor Castle. Now, two of the people, this first person is Dr. James Martin. He was made a member of the Order of the British Empire because it recognizes services to drama in Northern Ireland. You have Miss Laura Hemp, footballer. She is made a member of the Order of the British Empire for services to association football. Congratulations to everybody who was received at the castle and who was in, given an investiture, who was given an honor. I think that's lovely. All right, let's move on. All right, next up, a new portrait of Princess Catherine was commissioned for the cover of Tatler magazine. I'm not going to lie, I don't think it's that great. I don't understand what the big deal is. I, I, I don't know who painted it. I don't know the artist. I only know that, in my opinion, it's a horrible likeness of her. I, yeah, not liking it. All right, let's move on. All right, let's talk now about Sophie and Edward. Again, these may not be in order. This picture was taken when they were at the Scottish Parliament. Now, I believe it was before that that they were seen at the General Assembly. Now, this took place on May 22nd, and so they're calling it the Morning Service of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. So yes, I do believe that they were in church. And the reason that I'm saying these may not be in order is because I believe they were they were at this event before they were pictured at Parliament. So, but again, they're doing so much during this visit, it's really hard to keep everything in the correct order. But I'm trying, you guys. And then there was a lovely picture of them leaving the General Assembly Hall to carry out their duties for the day. 
But before they left, a photo was taken with the military chaplains and the head of the forces. So there you go. Lovely photo. And a big thank you to Remy Lot Sauce, as usual, for showing us everything that she was wearing. Now, the day before this, if I'm not mistaken, on the 21st of May, Sophie and Edward visited the uh, college that was located in the Isle of Skye. When they got to the Isle of Skye, they were welcomed by the Highland Council. There were local bagpipers doing it. There were Highland dancers. The one dancer in the picture, her name is Amy McKinnon. Uh, there were pupils and a lot of community groups. They also visited the National Center for Gaelic Language and Culture, also located at the Isle of Skye. And once again, a big thank you to Remy Lodsauce for showing us what she was wearing that day. Now also, again, I believe it was the 21st, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh visited the city chambers. So that would have been Monday evening. It was at this reception in the city chambers where Sophie and Edward learned more about how they are marking nine centuries of shared history. That's a lot. I think Sophie looks absolutely lovely. Now, you guys, there's more to their trip, but because it's being put out so sporadically, you guys know what I'm saying? They don't cover them the way they should. They never do. Uh, it's really hard to follow all of what they're doing. Now, also on the 21st, the two of them met with people at a distillery. That's right. They met core members of the distillery. They toured it. Uh, they were testing some of it out. Why wouldn't you? And then after a tour of the plant, they went and planted an aspen tree near the main building. They both look absolutely fabulous. I just love this tour. All right, you guys. And the next morning, Sophie and Edward were back at the Church of Scotland. Look how happy they look. And once again, a big thank you to Remulade Sauce for showing us all the beautiful clothing Sophie was wearing. Please assist me with my algorithm issues by hitting the like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Down in the description box, you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon, where you get uncensored content, my Amazon wish list, a mailing address, everything you need. And if you've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys have a great day.